The 2021 NCAA Division I Championships just went down in Eugene, Oregon. After the year off in 2020, athletes were ready to put down some great performances, and this championships did not disappoint. First off, let's take a look at the men's side. We had the men's 400 meter dash where Randolph Ross from North Carolina a and managed to come away with the win in 43.86 seconds. I think very few people expected a 43 second run, but Ross managed to perform. That made him the number three NCAA all time, only behind Michael Norman and Fred Curley, who are of course the top two Americans right now. We also saw Bryce Dedman from Texas A&M. He was a little bit farther back, 44.44 seconds but great to see him get that second place after an up and down season in third place noah williams from lsu he was looked at as the favorite coming in but he only managed to run 44.93 seconds for third trevor stewart also from north carolina a he came away with a great 300 meter race but then he had a real bad last 100 meters ran 44.96 seconds for fourth place Great performances, again, Randolph Ross, that 43.86 is a world leader and puts him in the conversation to potentially make that Olympic team to Tokyo just next week at the Olympic trials. Now let's jump up to the men's 5,000 meters. This turned out to be one of the greatest races that we've seen in NCAA history. Cooper Tier from Oregon got away with the win in 13 minutes, 12.27 seconds, moving him to number three all time in the NCAA, only behind Lawi Lalang and Henry Rono. Also, Luis Gorhalva from NAU battling it out with Athanas Kiyoko from Campbell. He managed to run away with the second place, Gorhalva getting 13 minutes, 13.14, just ahead of Kiyoko in 13 minutes, 13.47. So the top three really separating themselves from the rest of the field, all getting personal bests. But behind them, we saw the top 12 performances all set personal bests in this race. 12th place ran 13 minutes, 27.6 seconds. That is one of the top performances and is generally looked at as one of the top performances in the NCAA in any year, but here it only gets you 12th place in the NCAA. Again, Cooper Tier, 13 minutes, 12.27, amazing performance for Oregon there. Now let's jump back down to the sprints where we saw the 200 meters on the men's side. Terrence Laird was the clear favorite coming in, had the top two times in the NCAA this year, had run 19.8 on two occasions, but it turned out to be all about Joseph Fambule from Florida. He has a really poor start, really goes along with like what we've seen from Wallace Spearman back in the day, but that second half of the race is impeccable. He managed to come away with the win just ahead of Terrence Laird, Fambule in 19.91 seconds Terrence Laird in 19.94 Fambule just edging him out but that made him equal number eight NCAA all time in the 200 meters ironically at the same time as Wallace Spearman when he was at Arkansas so great parallels there in third place we saw Sean Masanguani from Houston he managed to get third in 20.10 seconds ran a great first half but faded a little bit to Laird and Fambule in that second half of the race again great performances from all these guys Fambule is going to be someone to look out for in this 200 meters. Now let's talk about the hurdles and specifically Sean Burrell from LSU. He is in his first year actually competing in the 400 meter hurdles and here he dominated, ran away with the win in 47.85 seconds. That is not only a personal best, a huge performance for him. That makes him equal number four all time in the NCAA and that number four that he shares it with is Kevin Young, the world record holder. So definitely in some great company. One thing to note is his form is still very erratic, very shaky he hits some hurdles this race he didn't hit any but he's definitely has a lot to improve upon so this 47.85 puts him in a great conversation to not only make the olympic team i think in the future talking about 2022 2023 and beyond he's definitely going to be shooting towards 46 seconds if he continues on this improvement and maybe even going for some gold medals along with others like rye benjamin samba warholm and all the other guys who are in that 47 range so sean burrell from lsu dominant the 400 meter hurdles here. Two other performances to talk about on the men's side, Javon Harrison, he has dominated in the long jump and the high jump all year. Of course, he got the indoor double. This time, outdoors was no different. First in the long jump, he got the win in a very comfortable 8.27 meters. Really easy, again, comfortable win for him there. Came back for the second day in the high jump, also grabbing the win in 2.33 meters. He did take jumps at 2.39 meters, which would have been the NCAA record, but unfortunately, he missed all three 
secure those jumps, but this performance shows that he is one of one. This double has never been done before, and for him to do it both outdoors and indoors, this shows that he is a top competitor going for a potential spot on the Olympic team, but maybe might be able to push out an Olympic medal if he catches the right strike. So keep a lookout for Javon Harrison. Amazing double here. Finally, we want to end off with Turner Washington from Arizona State. Got another double, this time in the shot put and the discus throw. The shot put got out to a personal best of 21.10 meters. Great performance for him there. Then he followed that up with a discus throw best of 63.42 meters. Now, he has been dominating both events all season. So for it to culminate in the two gold medals at the NCAA championships here, bodes very well for what he's going to be able to do in the future. So Turner Washington getting the shot put and discus throw wins. So now onto the women's side. Here we have Cambria Sturgis. She pulled out an amazing double in 100 and 200 meters. First off in that 100 meters, she crossed the line first in 10.74 seconds. Now when the time stopped, we all thought that it was an NCAA record breaking Shakari Richardson's record from 2019. But unfortunately, the wind came up as plus 2.2 meters per second, making it an illegal wind. But besides the fact, 10.74 seconds, barely over the allowable. That is an amazing performance for Sturgis, who of course was a little bit overlooked. She was in the mix, but she definitely wasn't getting the other highlights like some of the other ladies. Right behind her, Twanisha Terry from USC ran 10.79. Tamara Clark ran 10.88. And Kemba Nelson ran 10.90 seconds. So all of these ladies putting on great performances in that 100 meter dash but in the 200 Sturgis again followed up Tamara Clark challenged and was leading for most of this race but Sturgis pulled out the win just edging ahead of Tamara Clark Sturgis running 22.12 seconds followed up by Clark who ran 22.17 now that 22.12 seconds is number four in the NCAA all time amazing performance for Sturgis again getting that 100 200 meter double a really hard feat to pull off but great performance for her now, stepping away from the track and over into the field, we have to give a highlight to Cameron Rogers from the University of California. In the women's hammer throw, she got out to an NCAA record of 75.52 meters. That is a massive performance. And not only that, four out of her six throws were all above the previous record of 73.32 meters. So Rogers really setting herself up well with great performances in the hammer throw. That's going to lead her into a very great position for the next couple years. Now let's jump back on the track and talk about a thing Mo. Now she has been dominating all year since she came into the NCAA just last year in the fall. In the 400 meters, she already had the NCAA record of 49.68 seconds. She improved that record here running 49.57 seconds. Everyone knew she was going to go out for the win. Here she improved that record, an amazing performance, but I think the 4x4 was even better. With the Texas a and team, they managed to go away breaking the NCAA NCAA record there running 3 minutes 22.34 seconds breaks a record by almost a full second previous best of 3 minutes 23.13 but the highlight was a thing mo again on that anchor leg she split 48.85 seconds that is the best 4x4 split for an NCAA athlete in the history of the 4x4 so she is proving that she is going to be a solid factor on the 4x4 in Tokyo hopefully she's able to be selected for the team and of course, we're going to see her run the 800 at the Olympic trials. So we might see her run that 800 in Tokyo and run on the 4x4. Again, amazing performances for a thing Mo at these NCAA championships. Now, still in the sprints, but this time on the hurdles, we had Anna Cockrell from USC. She had an amazing performance in both of the hurdle events. Now, in the 100-meter hurdles, Tania Marshall of LSU was the favorite, having already run 12.44 seconds, but she unfortunately pulled out of the final in the hurdles due to a little injury, but that gave Cockrell the opportunity of a lifetime. She ran away very comfortably in the hurdles, running 12.58 seconds, just off her personal best of 12.54 which she set in the prelims just two days before. Then she followed that up in the 400 meter hurdles. Again, very comfortable win, no competition, running away with a personal best of 54.68 seconds. This is the first time in the NCAA since 2010 that any woman has ever done the 100 meters and 400 meter hurdle double. Remember, Queen Harrison back in 2010 running for Virginia Tech, she managed to get that double. Kenny Harrison back in 2015 almost got the double but finished second in the 400 meter hurdles while winning the 100 meter hurdles. 
girls. So Anna Cockrell placing herself in history in the NCAA, definitely going to be having a great career after USC. Finally, let's end things off on the distant side, the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase. Courtney Wayman of BYU was the favorite coming into this meet, having already run 9 minutes and 31 seconds, but she ended up only fourth in this race, and it turned out to be a very fast race no matter what. Mahala Norris of the Air Force came away with the win just off the final barrier, sprinting to the finish, getting 9 minutes 31.76 seconds. Joyce Camelli of Auburn was not too far behind in 9 minutes 31. Point eight four, and then Rainsberger of Washington, 9 minutes 32.12. Remember I mentioned Courtney Wayman of BYU. She came off her fourth, 9 minutes 32.93 seconds. Now from Norris, Camelli, and Rainsberger, they became number six, seven, and eight respectively in the NCAA all time. This has been one of the greatest steeple races that we've seen in the NCAA for a long time. So again, Mahala Norris of the Air Force getting that steeplechase win. So those are just some of the performances that were highlighted from this past week of the NCAA championships out there in Eugene, Oregon. Great performances. A lot of these athletes are going to be coming back for the USA Olympic trials in just a week's time. So keep a lookout for these athletes. Go in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite performance from these NCAA championships were. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.